tame winter in West Central Ohio to go along with a balmy March had a lot of coaches and athletic directors excited about the beginning of the spring sports season. But there hasn't been much to write home about yet. Last two weeks have seen temperatures drop into the 30s and precipitation has followed. As a result, games and meets have been few and far between. Matt Finkel has more on how the weather is affecting the athletes and the athletic directors. Rain, wind, and even snow have wreaked havoc on the first two weeks of the spring sports season. The weather has been brutal, no doubt, and uh, I think it's been frustrating not only for athletic directors, but for coaches, for players, for administrators, for volunteers, for workers at games. I think it's a lot easier just to, to have the event or to play the game than it is to cancel. But postponements and cancellations have been coming fast and furious, forcing athletic directors to roll with the punches. I guess the problem this year more than ever is the fact that it's been so cold and so rainy that you can't even get the games in between when it is a nice day because you can't get the fields ready. Athletic directors talk and we're all on the same page. Even if it's not our event, we're communicating and we have all these moving parts. So it's, it's really been time consuming. It's really been frustrating and uh, you want to always look at, at the safety first before anything else. As the bad weather continues, the window to reschedule games gets smaller and smaller. It's been difficult. Um, you look at your calendar and they got games and everybody tries to play non-league baseball in between particularly. And you try to find a date somewhere to play a game and you got school getting done and graduation and, and end of the year trips and everything. There's so many other factors in the spring that makes it tough. The kids are mad at me. <laughs> they keep saying, why are we canceling? And you, and you tell them, listen, we want to play. We want to be out there just like you do. But uh, it's extremely frustrating for them to continually have to practice over and over again. Like everyone else, Wapakoneta baseball is experiencing that reality. The Redskins had five games scheduled for this week, but only got one in. You know, and then just trying to keep the kids as motivated as possible once you come back inside. Um, you know, we gave them yesterday off just because we had that inkling that we weren't going to be able to play today and and uh, so we're going to come in throw some bullpens today and, and work a little bit in the cages and make it short and sweet. We're really starting to get into a flow and we're really coming together as a team so it's when you really want to get playing and want to get your games in but nothing you can do about it. Just hoping Mother Nature likes baseball the next couple months. Whether you play a spring sport or help get the students on the field, a selfless attitude is required. Stay together and stay as a team, you know, stay up, keep everybody patting each other on the back, keep staying upbeat and have a positive attitude. Coaches do a tremendous job, not just here. I mean, a lot of schools, coaches work on baseball fields for hours upon hours to get a field ready to play. And uh, so, I mean, a lot of credit goes to the coaches to make the spring season happen and the flexibility. Um, but you never know what can happen with, uh, with the weather. <laughs> Hoping April showers bring May flowers, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.